All right, welcome to another blog video on Flipping Mastery. And today I wanna to talk about something that I think is really important. It's buying on terms. Now, most of my real estate investing career, I've always been a cash buyer. You know, I love being a cash buyer because you can go in there really aggressively. You know, you can lowball offers and cash talks, right? So a seller will really listen. <laughs> you can get a lot of attention when you go in and you make all cash offers. But that doesn't mean you should overlook the opportunity to buy on terms. Now, it's a little more challenging when you're going after houses on terms, and I'll talk about this in a minute. But what I found is those of you that are in my lot flipper program that are doing new construction, with vacant lots, you can really do a lot on terms. So let me give an example. Let's say that uh, I'm going after a lot deal and, and I make a cash offer, and I'm just gonna use some examples here for 50,000. Okay, so that's my number to buy cash. Now here's the thing, when you're buying cash, you have to get a really phenomenal deal because you're using cash. And you know, the, the cost of using cash is very high. In other words, if you're gonna tie up cash, whether you're using private money or hard money, you're, when you're making a cash offer, you really have to get a phenomenal deal. But here's what I do a lot of times, if this is a vacant lot deal here, oftentimes I'll say, look, to, to buy this deal cash, 50,000 is the most I can pay for this lot. But I'll tell you what, I'm willing to pay a little bit more if you'll finance me on terms for the purchase. So for example, I might say, I might say I'm willing to pay 60,000 on terms. Now, what does that mean? So typically what I'll do is I'll make an offer of 10% down, right? At seven or sometimes 8% with a three-year carry. So let's think about that for a minute. 10% down would be about $6,000. I'm only coming out of pocket $6,000. 7% interest only. So I'll pay the seller if he carries the balance of $54,000 at 7% interest or maybe 8% interest. And I usually try to get a two or three-year term, meaning I've got two or three years to pay off the balance. Now, what does that do? That opens up so many more opportunities for me because one, I'm not using up cash, right? I'm only coming out of pocket a little bit. I'm willing to pay a little bit more for that very reason that I'm not tying up a lot of cash. It lets me carry that note with the seller, seller financing or seller terms. It allows me to get into the deal. Um, you know, I'm paying a little bit more, but to have three years at a low interest rate, you know, that's fairly low for seller carry, six, 7%. And what I found is a lot of times I can get sellers to agree to these terms. And I do it as well with houses. Sometimes with houses, you gotta pay a little bit more on your down payment. Now, they could come back and counter and say, I want more money down, or I want a little bit higher interest rate, or I don't wanna quite go out three years, or whatever, and then you can decide what works. Uh, but you know, this idea, this concept of making both offers, so going hard and heavy with cash, but then follow up and say, listen, I'll pay a little bit more. You'll find that a lot of sellers will look at this and they'll say, well, I'm getting 10,000 more than if he paid me off cash. I'm earning some interest, so I'm, it's kind of like an investment, you know, and, and I've got over three years, so it can be a really good deal in certain situations. So don't forget to think about making term offers uh, when you're doing deals, houses and definitely vacant lots. Uh, okay, I hope this was helpful. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you check out all of our other videos and our other content and stuff on FlippingMastery.com, and we'll see you soon.